really have to drink right now. Sometimes I like to drink after work. Okay. Whatever. I'm done fighting with you. I know, but the tomatoes... And the laundry is getting bad. I know, but the tomatoes, they had a mark on them. I don't know why the fuck we bought them or we did. They don't, they, they expire way too fucking quick. Fucking... Just okay, well, we were supposed to deliver a box because you had all day off of work, so... <laughs> no, I didn't. I got called in. You know, I see the shirt. I think I just wear this around all day. Sometimes you do, and sometimes I question it, yeah. We're getting our tomatoes at a different place from now on. They're fucking tomatoes! You wanna buy pizza? No, not really. What? Why not? I don't have the money for it. Yeah, I, I got it covered. Alright, I get paid next week, I got it covered. I just wanna... I just sounds good. You wanna get a pizza? Oh, I'm gonna go change quick. I smell like a hobo. Okay. Supper's almost done. breakfast yeah what's wrong I thought you when you said you were going to make breakfast I thought you were gonna make something different not cookies it's something though isn't it yeah but Whatever. <sighs> no I'll keep making them I mean I'll eat some just like cookies for breakfast yay I don't see the problem in it Achoo.
dude, look, I'm just, I'm just saying, yeah, like, hey, like hey, look hey, at hey, the water. Hey, see the water, hey. like, what? I'm not kicking you out. I, I, I seen before, you need a gun. I'm not mad about it. I just wanted to know if I could buy one. Uh, I mean, I guess. There's crime, there's people. I got questioned by a man today. He said he lost money in a stairwell. I don't know anything about it, but the thing is, I had to defend myself. He <laughs> killed people, Mary. He killed people. Okay. Whole slaughter. I am done fighting with you. I'm getting busy anyways. From. You promise you're being safe? Yeah. I'm just worried. I'm gonna be safe. And you won't get hurt? No. I'm not gonna get hurt. Alright. I hate to go to work. See you tonight. Where do you think Marcus is? Who cares? Fucking asshole. I hope he jumps off the ramps. charges. Sounds good. That was the man. Ooh. You want him to sterilize him for money. Obviously just, not doing anything. I was just standing by. Well, do you think this vent's clean? It looks pretty clean to me. Dude, you need to get off your phone and start getting back to work, man. This is getting ridiculous. Alright, dude. Alright. Fucker. You notice anything different by Eddie? 
He's been kind of in a funky mood lately. Damn, Eddie. Yeah, he gets like that sometimes. I think this time might be about me. Very well could be. But why? Yesterday I asked to go on an early break. But I mean, I, I paid him. I paid him for his food on his break, so... I don't know, man. Alright. I'm gonna get back to work. Have a good one. Street parking bridge, and I've I've been assaulted by one of the employees here. His name is Marcus Crosley. That's your warning, Crosley. Give me my money by the end of the week, or you're a dead man. Hey, Marcus. Look, man, know what happened? Get some time. You take you got the time off, you can have all the time you need. Look, I want you to know I'm on your side with this, okay? I'm gonna be there for you. I'm gonna protect you. I'm gonna help you as hard as I can, or as much as I can. I am on your side with this. You can take the time you need. I don't need time. But thank you.
going on? Haven't we gone over this? Um, you want another shirt? Yes. There's no drugs. Then there's no is... cheating. There's no. There's no danger. There's no. There's no nothing. Then what okay. is it? Just, 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 just. I had a man come to me asking for money. I didn't take the money, but he was pissed. He shot a few people in the ramp. He shot me, but he's dead now. I didn't kill him, but he's dead now, okay? okay. It, it, just listen. He is not a threat. The cops wanted him for a long time. He was on the loose for a long time. He is not a threat. I promise you that, okay? Here's, here's the thing. When you sit here and say that I need a new job, and you tell me that I'm being foolish, do you, do you not think that I am afraid? I was. I was a little bit afraid, but... I'm, I'm not a moron, okay? I, I hired a bodyguard. Not just for me, for you. That was before he died. But he's dead now. We're not in danger anymore. So I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want any more of this bullshit. Okay. Can we get back on track? Yes. Okay.
Marcus, are you alright? Can you fucking listen to me? I'm not going to the hospital. I'm not getting a new job. You get it? You got that through your fucking stick skull? Come on, stop. I don't need anything. <sighs> this is just a simple mishap. It happened just a few fucking days A simple days mishap? Ago. You got shot. He's not a threat to us anymore. He's dead, okay? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Yes. <sighs> He's dead. Okay. I don't care. There's if nothing to worry about. I don't I... care. I don't care if you don't fucking care. You have a shit job. I'm the one that brings in the money to pay for the fucking bills. So you shut the fuck up. You know, and if you're dead, you can't really pay for the bills. <laughs> I'm not going to fucking die. You just got shot. What's fucking next? I'm not Someone's getting a new fucking, fucking job. I'm not it? getting a new fucking job. Whatever. Just shut the fuck up. Go away. I just don't want you to die.
Marcus across. Come here. Who are you? I'm Jason Wright, and uh, you killed my brother Quinn. Look, man, I'm real sorry that I killed your brother, but I lost some money in the stairwell. I found it and wanted it back and wanted it back now. And I didn't have it, I had to make up it. You know, I had to get some money back to make up for it. Uh, the reason why it's so important that you killed him is because he is one of the top people at the Mafia. And uh, you got a pretty nice ramp here. I think we could... Uh, we can make something happen. We need to discuss with uh, other uh, with other people first, and we'll let you meet them. See what they think. I don't know if I want to be a part of that. I uh, I don't really think you got a choice. You, uh, you took a little bit of money, and you also killed my brother. So we're gonna we're gonna need to do something here about this. What if what if it works? Negotiate with. What if I work until I make the money out? Let me call it good. I don't know. I think we are. Uh, we're gonna need you to work for a little while, at least, at least to get back the money that he would be making for us. And so, since we lost that, so we don't have another option. And uh, you do have a pretty nice place here, and I do think that. You can make this work. Well, they don't want to be this. Well, uh, you're going to be a part of this, or else. You think you can do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, uh, are you ready for this? Well, um, these people can be pretty dangerous. Open the glove box. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You're gonna need that.
bigger cut. Large, how we need. But what about all the risk I'm having to take by actually moving it? Well, that's why you all get 20. Still making more than me. If you add all you up, 60, 40. So then, what are you doing? stairwell you won't have to worry too much about that one that's where a lot of the prostitutes and stuff used to hang out got it maybe for more of your heavier users that over there's the fifth street stairwell and that's where you can use that one uh, you can use the glider and this one this one's a bit uh dipping the nail uh it's not used very much but Actually, gets you from the new side to the old side. And speaking of the new side, all we need. Not too much happens in here, but every once in a while, you might get that weird dude that has that elevator kick and might want some. It's a pussy in the elevator. Or that. I don't want to ever be in here. It does that too when you go to the top. I don't ever want to be in here long. Alright.
What's up? Getting more and more pissed off. About what? Fucking Marcus. What about Marcus? He's an asshole and we put everything on the fucking line for him all the time. I mean, we're going out, we're doing the drug deals. He's just sitting and watching it happen. Like, yeah, he gives us the land, but he should not be fucking leading us. Listen to what you're saying and then fucking just think about that for a second. I trust this man, not only with my life, but with our fucking business, okay? He says he knows what he's doing, I trust him 100%. Don't ever fucking talk about Marcus like that again! What do you want to talk about? I heard about what you were doing. I'm fucking pissed off. It's not gonna happen. If you put a hit on me, you see it. I will have you killed. And I mean that. Know your boundaries. And figure your shit out. What'd you want? I wanted to talk to you and see you. I... I... I know what this is about. I didn't text, I didn't call all day. I told you this yesterday. My phone got spilt on by some coffee. But, but, but what, what the hell is this? Calling my worth, telling them that I had to drive fucking 20 minutes out of my way, come here to meet you in, in, in this fucking... What the fuck? Not yourself lately. I'm not cheating. I'm not on drugs. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck else. What what other T's need to be crossed and I's dotted? I have to get back to work. Next time, don't park 20 minutes away. Selling. How much you make for that? Uh, like two hundred thirteen dollars. What the fuck? Why such an odd number? Oh yeah, one of the homeless dude only had like, I mean he had most of the money, and then he had a couple bucks, and then he stole a hot dog from a vendor across the street, so he just gave me the couple bucks and a hot dog, and then I gave him the drugs. So yeah, it was a pretty good hot dog. There's no such thing as a bad hot dog.
shit's been rough. <laughs> I'm sorry. Statement. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm fucking sorry. What do you want me to say? I want you to say anything. Then, then what do you have to say? I have a lot of things to say, but I know you're not going to fucking change, so it's fine. What? What, what do you think this is? Do you think this is some sort of fucking... <laughs> Fucking phase of a fucking teenager. I think you're going through a midlife crisis, honestly. A uh, midlife fucking crisis. What you the fuck do you mean? To leave the job you just got shot at, and you think it's perfectly safe and perfectly fine for you to work there. It's not. Grow the fuck up and leave. I'm not going through a fucking midlife crisis that much, well, I'll tell you right now. I think you are, honestly. There's something obviously going on that I don't know about. There's no, there's no drugs. There's no liberals. There's none of that. So stop fucking asking. There's no midlife crisis. There's nothing. I'm not hiding anything. It was a simple crime to the third degree. We live in a city. There's crime. Open your fucking eyes. If you're not going to do anything to make yourself better, then why am I even trying? Why am I even here? I don't have time for bullshit. Sales are good, man. Yeah. Oh, so on top of that, we got you a bodyguard. I can protect myself. I know, man. I don't he's... need a bodyguard. Listen, he's just in case. We heard somebody was trying to run you down. Like who? A competitor? Yeah. There's a bunch of competitors in this business. Relax, I don't man. Need them. I know. It's just in case. He's not allowed where you guys aren't allowed. Obviously. He's gonna fall from a distance. It's fine. Okay. Get things done. Will do, man. You think I'm stupid? What? You fucking jackass. You think you think I don't know what's what's going on here? What, what's going on? Hey man, you wanna sell dope around here? Then you better quit your job and start moving away on the street, you fucking jackass. No. I'll stay here. Fine then, I'm gonna go to the boss and I'm gonna tell him what you're doing. Fuck. <laughs> Whatever. What's up? The competitors have been eyeballing me real bad lately. Where are they at? Near the rooftop. So what should I do? Kill them.
mean to that are following me? Who? Handle it. Messing with the wrong people. Where do you want to go? What do you mean? Where do you want to move? What do you mean? Like, after this all. I don't want to move. We have family and friends and... There's nothing here. Well, <laughs> our whole life is here. Our family is here. Your brother is here. My sister is here. No, I, I get it. Just miserable. Will you make yourself that way? Mary, I'm so sorry that it had to be this way. I've made decisions and choices. Ones that I'm not proud of. I do not and will not condone. This is my way of accepting the consequences of those actions. I cannot be with you anymore. It's not because of the fights, and it's not because of you. This has been a long time coming. Our mindsets are not compatible. Our lives don't sink where they need to. And for that, I wanted to give you some insight, so you're not left alone at night, wondering what it is that caused such a shift between you and I. So here's what you wanted all along. The truth. I have murdered people. I have hurt people. I am not the Marcus Crosley you knew four years ago. They say people change. I don't know if that's what this is. I never wanted any of this. It was just a matter of my patience and livelihood and safety being tested. I just wanted to succeed and for you and I both to be able to smile at that. You can tell whoever you want. I accept what I have coming. But before you do that, just
just know that I'm giving you the larger sum of what I am taking. This is for you to carry on and to find a new life. I'm sorry. Love, Marcus.